have stuff like this to go to. <laughs> I dress in a dress to go to home bargains. Because I'm in a wheelchair and because I sit down, as I said in the previous video, it's really hard to find coats that aren't too oversized, aren't too bulky, don't get caught in the wheel and don't just create a big hot mess. So, I went back on Misguided and instead of giving up, I dug my wheels in. See what I did there? Dug my wheels in. I went on Misguided and I thought, no, I'm not going to be beaten. I'm going to get better and I'm going to style these things. So, this is my version of a teddy coat. Okay, technically it's not a coat, it's a hoodie, but I think it works. It's a teddy hoodie and it's cropped so it finishes the right place. If you're in a chair and you find it hard to wear coats, just think about hoodies. Like There's so many different like varieties of hoodies that you could wear and obviously it's easier because it's over your head. You could even get zip through ones. <gasps> gets 10 out of 10 on TripAdvisor would definitely book me again. <laughs> I love it! I love it! It's so cute! I want I can't believe it! I've managed to find the teddy coat! Yeah! I need to get a light. <laughs> Completely the wrong colour. Like, who? Who in their right mind says, oh yeah, I'm going to put a tracksuit together and go for a grey top and a blue pair of bottoms. I'll film another video and I'll pick all my own stuff. The stuff I've picked has been worse. <laughs> if you want to style a tracksuit better than me, it won't be difficult. My top tips are go for trousers that are tighter than at a bridge. Leggings are a good start as long as you get the right colour and then just get a matching hoodie, sweatshirt or jumper or t-shirt and you will look amazing, unlike me. This is my number one top tip. If you're looking for a pair of jeans and you just feel like they're too well fitting or they just don't... Like you saw how baggy the jeans were last time that I had on. So that's what I normally tend to do, I go for jeggings. If you're looking for to still rock the jean look, go for jeggings and you will be good. <laughs> I'm going through a 21 life crisis or something, I'd never go out wearing a top saying baby on it. Like, no, the handcakes, you just don't know, no. <laughs> That's right boys, it's the cord. Change one thing about this cord. I did originally have a skirt, but I got shorts. Because that way, my dignity is covered and nobody can see my private parts. Definitely go for a skirt um, if you're in a wheelchair and if you're a little bit conscious because, God, there are so many times where I've been getting in and out the car or, you know, just talking to someone and I've been like, oh, my life. There is no way that I am covered and it's really embarrassing and scorts just save the day. They just make sure that nothing can be seen that doesn't need to be seen. So yeah, I need to get more colour in my life. I think I'm still in emo stage circa like 2003. Because all I... How old was I in 2003? One, two, three, four... There's no way I was emo in 2003. I was only like five. Is this on backwards? No. I was about to jump off a cliff and that would take so much effort. So that shows you how dumb I am. <laughs> this is a cropped type denim jacket. It's actually my mum's. So shout out to you mum. I feel like Kim Possible in this. Call me, beat me if you want to bleep me. Kim Possible. Three S's. I don't know why I just did a four. The three S's, whatever your size, shape or situation, you can make fashion work for you. Just thank you for watching. I don't know, it's just crazy. I just make videos in my spare time whereby I hope to make people laugh and change people's lives eventually when I get my own shit together.